with respect to Governor Romney, that was not the case. He supported the folks on Wall Street and bailed out Wall Street, was all for it. And then when it came to the auto workers and the folks in Detroit, he said no. That to me is not a consistent principled position. I had one. I believe in markets, not just when they're convenient for me. Governor. <laughs> Nice try, but now let's look at the facts. All right, first of all, first of all, let's, let's go back in the auto industry and, uh, and go back to 2000, I think it was 2008, President Bush was still in office, and the three chief executive officers of the three major auto companies got in their private planes and flew to Washington and said, please write us a check. I think they wanted $50 billion. And I wrote an op-ed in the paper, and I said, absolutely not. Don't write a check for $50 billion. These companies need to go through a managed bankruptcy, just like airlines have, just like other industries have. Go through a managed bankruptcy. And, and if they go through that managed bankruptcy and shed the excess of cost that's been put on them by the UAW and by their own mismanagement, then if they need help coming out of bankruptcy, the government can provide guarantees and get them back on their feet. No way would we allow the auto industry in America to totally implode and disappear. That was my view. Go through bankruptcy. When that happens, then the market can help lift them out.